Welcome to Feel Good TV, your fun fitness lifestyle show. Coming up on tonight's show, we introduce you to our average Joe who is trying to get fit. Let's find out if the fitness program that he has set will really stick. I learned that you can really put up a sweat when you join a party, a Zumba party that is. Curly K is roving the streets of Sydney to find out what is it that makes you feel good. Ellie, what makes you feel good? Um, this beautiful country, Australia, it's so beautiful. No, I'm a personal trainer. A personal trainer! Can you teach us some, uh, give us some uh, ideas for Feel Good TV, give us some tips. Um, do a lot of stretching and running. Run and stretching and running, anything else? Mm, go to the gym. Looking at you, mate. Looking at me? What else? Anything else? I know I'm alright, but what else? I guess why? Um, eating well. Yeah? What do you eat? Balanced diet. Very nice. With good. the occasional chocolate. Maybe you should take over. You should, uh, you're doing very good. Who do you want to ask? <laughs> Welcome and today I want to introduce you to Rodney who is our average Joe. So welcome Rodney. I like to think I'm a little bit more than average. I've got a great personality. <laughs> oh that's good to hear. So Rodney, you've told me that you're interested in getting fit and uh, whacking yourself into shape. Now Rodney, can you share with us today some of the ac exercise activities that you're going to be doing to kickstart your fitness program? Well, I'm going to kickstart it because I do absolutely no training whatsoever. So um, I guess initially I'm just going to wig it, go out there and, and hope for the best. Uh, I've got a mate of mine that's a personal trainer that's going to do some work with me. I um, want to go down and attack those cookie stairs that everyone tells oh, me about. Oh, those stairs, I've heard they're massive. Yeah, Are I'm you gonna... sure you're up for them straight away? Oh, bring it, I'll take them on. <laughs> you know, um, I guess it's my never matter matter. And, uh, you know, so I've you got, got this little one here too, your little dog, that yeah. you can uh, take for a walk as well. I'm going to take him out and about and uh, not just sit there and throw the ball to him, just actually get out there and uh, power walk because... Uh, <laughs> Move with him, right? Yeah. He's only a little <laughs> fella, but he's got some speed, so I'm sure it'll be a brisk walk. I think, I think once I get in a routine, um, I'll be a-okay. It's just, I've got to start doing something because I do nothing, like nada, zero. Alright, so something is definitely better than nothing, right? Well that's it, that's the plan and um, I just want to go slow and steady too because I just don't want to go all out like a bat out of hell and then, you know, um, think bugger this, this is too hard. So, uh, as long as I'm seeing results every week. So, let's go and see how Rodney goes on his exercise program. Scotty, how did Rodney go with his training? Uh, Rodney's been pretty good so far. He's been switched on. He's uh, been working hard, and uh, I've been pushing him down here a couple of times a week. And Rodney, how do you think you've been going with Scotty's training? It's coming straight off. So that's why personal training is really good. Michael Walton from Travelling Fit. Welcome Michael. Thanks Joey, good to be here. And now I must say, when I heard that you were coming in today, I thought it's time to put on the exercise gear because <laughs> we're going to be travelling fit somewhere. Yes, we are indeed. We'll be going around the world running marathons today. Around the world? Well, we're a, a specialised travel agency uh -huh. um, and all we do is take marathon runners around the world running marathons. That's excellent. Now, I've done a bit of a half marathon before and that's pretty tough. Now, I've heard that you guys actually do the Great Wall of China Marathon. We do do the Great Wall of China Marathon, yes. And you'd be pleased to know that the entire race is not actually on the Great Wall itself. Really? There is a fair bit of the race on the Great Wall. You've actually got 5,164 steps, would you believe, it, as part of the race. Right. But only about eight kilometers of the race is actually on the wall, and the rest of it is getting up to the wall running across and then running out into local villages and, and things like that. So yeah, it's, it's quite good, but it's spectacular. Okay, now tell me, are you able to do a half marathon on the wall? You'll be pleased to know, Joey, that yes, there is a half marathon as well. And there's also a 10 kilometer and a five kilometer race. So it's perfect for people, not just serious runners, but it's perfect for people who have, if you like, non-running partners or they have children, um, so that everybody gets to compete and everybody gets a medal when they finish. So if I wanted to get started and go and basically run the Great Wall of China, sure. 
How do I go about that? Okay, so you can get hold of us really easily anytime. We're on the internet at travelingfit.com or alternatively just send us an email at sales at travelingfit.com. We'd love to hear from you. Excellent. Well, thank you so much for coming in today. That is just a fantastic alternative. If you're somebody who loves fitness, this is a great fit way to enjoy your holiday. Excellent. Thanks, Joey. Great to be here. Hey guys, here with Chris from Iron Edge. How are you doing, Chris? Fantastic, Nolan, and yourself? I'm all right, I think. Good to hear, buddy. I hear you're going to take me through a total body fat blasting workout. You're absolutely spot on. You've probably walked in, seen some unconventional equipment lying around. So today, for this fat blast workout, we're going to use kettlebells, totally tone the whole body. We're going to finish you up with some uh, battling ropes. That's just going to destroy everything, really work on your conditioning. And then we're going to challenge your core with an aqua bag. Men with kettlebells are really, really good at toning up the bum, the hamstrings and the lower back, so targeting the problem areas around the thigh. The battling ropes really working on the upper body and conditioning through the arms, so that's going to burn your lungs up big time. And of course, as we said, with the acro bag, because they're unsteady, core work. So. All right, we're going to use the kettlebells to start with. We're going to do the swing. The swing's the fundamental move in kettlebell lifting. It's a really important one to learn, plus it activates a heap of muscles and gets your heart rate absolutely rocketing, perfect for awesome. burning fat. So as you swing it back, you snap your hips through and keep your eyes forwards. So it's really a hip dominant exercise. So that's it. Put your belt back, hips right through, keep your eyes forwards and straight ahead. And really snap your hips through like you're trying to burst it forwards. The kettlebell should be a reaction to your hips each time. Good. How high should the kettlebell go? Just coming up to eye level. And you're doing the right thing, really focus on breathing out at the top position. How do you feel? Fantastic, you've got the heart straight away going. Yeah, how top. quick is that as well? The aqua bag, we're gonna do a clean and press. So snap. Yep, snap, Ooh, good, bring it to your wrist. And then just push it straight overhead. Fantastic, down and down to your toes. That's up, snap your wrists. The Perfect. shaking at air. <laughs> Shoulders working, core's going crazy, everything's getting involved. And Very because we're using lots of muscles, the heart rate's going through the roof thus causing a great cardiac output. And that's what we want for fat burning. All right, so we're on to our last bit of equipment, the ropes, one of my favorites. Beautiful stuff. Fuck you riding a horse. <laughs> Absolutely. So you can see your legs acting like suspension. You're going up and down at the same time. So we're not just using one muscle, we're using lots of different muscles. This is getting our heart rate way through the roof. Three, you can't pick it up, two, and one, fantastic. Wow, burn the shoulders as well. Exactly, so a combination of those three exercises done in a bit of a circuit, maybe one minute at a time, you're gonna get yourself a really short workout. But I guarantee after you do one or two circuits, that's it. Guys, Absolutely. if you want more information on this, check out ironedge.com.au and if you want some of the programs we've got here, check out meatyor.com.au. <laughs> forward slash feel good TV. I need a water, can you give me water? Yeah, right? absolutely, go for it, well done. Joey and welcome to Sweat. Tonight we are going into a Zumba class. So welcome to the world of Zumba. Let's find out what it's all about. Okay, so before we start the class, I'd like to introduce you to our instructor, Maribel. Hey, Maribel. Good, it's great to be here tonight. I'm really excited about starting Zumba. Can you tell us what is Zumba? Uh, Zumba is an interval training session where fast and slow rhythms and resistance training are combined to tone and sculpt your body while burning, while, while burning fat. Add some Latin flavors and international sets into the mix and you have a Zumba class. Anyone can do Zumba. Okay, can you just teach us maybe one or two steps? Okay, um, Zumba is a mix of some Latin, Latin rhythms and then we're going to do the basics one. Um, of course, a cumbia who comes from Colombia. That's cumbia, then we got salsa. Simple salsa step, and then we got merengue. So it's a lot about moving the hips, yeah? Yeah, you need to, you need to lose to feel the music. The most important in Zumba is don't get stressed, don't think you can't follow the set of the trainer, it's just feel the music. Get into the music and let your body feel it and have the party. And then you will shake your body, will shake your legs, and that's it. Is. This is awesome. Thank you so much, Maribel. I know you've got to go because we've got to get the party started, right? Yes, we do. Thank you so much for being here and let's go and party. Bit 
different in your fitness, help you sweat. Recommend it. Zumba! Yeah! Have you dreamt about a career in fitness? Then it's time to stop dreaming and do something about it. The Australian Institute of Personal Trainers are running courses in fitness in your local area now. So start your career in personal training now by enrolling in AIPT's accredited course today. You'll be shown how to succeed in fitness, how to work flexible hours, and how to build a successful business. Numbers are limited, so jump online and register now at aipt.edu.au. Welcome to On The Couch. Today we're here with the CEO from the Australian Institute of Personal Trainers, Kylie Faye. It's great to have you here, Kylie. Now tell me, the Australian Institute of Personal Trainers, it sounds like somewhere you need to go to be fit. What is it exactly? So we're a registered training organisation and we're Australia's fastest growing provider of fitness education and business education in Australia. We have over 70 campuses across Australia and we train people to become personal trainers, group exercise leaders. So you don't need to be fit, you just need to have a passion for health and fitness and want to work in the fitness industry. The people who actually come to study at your campuses, um, if you don't need to be fit, are they people who are looking for a career change or already have an interest in fitness? Very varied background. We have people uh, that are, are young, we have people that are old come to us and predominantly people are looking to enter the fitness industry, they have a passion for the industry. Uh, but there are also people that are really motivated to help other people and they want to transform people's lives. And that's something that I admire about personal trainers is that they've really got that passion to want to help others. So when they come and they decide to study to be a personal trainer, what exactly do they need to do processes wise at the campus? Look, our course is a 12 month course and uh, we have one of the, uh, the leading courses in terms of practical experience. So our students are guided all the way through their course and they're really given hands-on learning. So they'll be paired up with a mentor or they'll be uh, at one of our campuses where they learn in a real life environment, in a real gym situation from a leading personal trainer. They obviously undertake some theory uh, to ensure that they round out their knowledge, but it's a very hands-on course. So there you have it. There's some great information there about the Australian Institute of Personal Trainers. Sounds like the perfect spot to start if you'd like to become a trainer. Today we're doing our outdoor training session with Millie from Step Into Life. Welcome Millie. Thanks very much Joy. I just want to know how do we get those killer abs? Well, I'm going to run you through a great program today, but I guess the key here is variety. You don't want to do what you've always done, otherwise you get what you've always got. Oh, I like that tip. That's a good one. So, let's get started. That's it. Stabilise. Exhale as you push away from the ground for the push-up, then roll the knees into the chest. See if you can roll the knees right into the chest, bend the knees. That's it, and straight out. Let's go for 10 of those. Now try and keep the elbows in front of you. Draw the elbows back in, bend the elbows. Now keep the butt down and roll it out. Eyes to the front. Do we want to work? Yes. <laughs> Here we go. Lateral arm raise out to the side. Don't let anything else in your body move. Good, keep heel still here. Still, slow it down a little. All right, Joey, to keep your heart rate up in between every set, we're gonna do a bit of skipping. Let's go for a minute right now. Three, two, and let's go. So you're gonna burn more fat by the time you get back to each exercise. Going up. 57 seconds, I'll give that to you just this once. <laughs> <laughs> Millie got the minute. Millie got the minute. Wow, what a great workout we just had. Thanks Millie for coming in. My pleasure Joey, you did really well. Good job today. Thank you, got some great tips. So there you have it, some abs, some legs. You got your heart rate up skipping. Now for any more info, just go to meetyour.com.au forward slash feelgoodtv. If you're not feeling so crash hot, then perhaps you might want to think about saying, last night a DJ saved my life. Because scientists at Glasgow University are looking at the link between psychology and sound engineering and how that can regulate your mood and emotion. 
They believe that soon patients with pain or depression could be prescribed music to help alleviate their symptoms. And so while scientists continue their work, here are some tips on how music can match your mood. High energy songs that have a nice fast beat are great to exercise to if you're doing cardio or weights. They're also excellent to sing along to at the top of your voice. But if you're trying to concentrate at work, it might be best to steer clear of the high energy songs as the fast beat may make you feel a little bit more stressed than perhaps you already are. And if you're stretching or just trying to calm down after a big day, go for some more mellow, quiet, meditative music. Some people love classical or jazz music for this. Others like beachy tunes like Jack Johnson. I personally think that this new track by Macy Gray will do the trick too. That's OMG for this week. I'm Beck Brown. I'll see you next time. Do you ever have those days where you feel like you're a little bit stuck and you're not quite sure how to be unstuck? Well, today on the couch, I'm here with Emily from Sonrosa and she's going to share with us some tips. Welcome, Emily. It's great to have you here. Thanks for having me. So tell me a little bit about Sonrisa. So Sonrisa is a life coaching practice and our life coaching is about helping people who feel stuck feel stuck, or be it in with their relationship, their career or in life itself and helping them to, to get that um, sense of purpose again and uh, create that, that sense of self-belief basically. Great, so can you tell me some of the benefits of life coaching practice? So um, life coaching will help you get that sense of clarity that you might like at the moment and, and um, help you achieve your goals, achieve your dreams and uh, get all that self-confidence back. How does a life coaching practice work in a program? So um, it works, we've got different sessions. So uh, at the start of the session, we basically uh, ask you where you want to be at the end of the session. And the session is just for last only an hour. And, um, and then it's just talking through where you're at now and how you can get there basically and discovering all your different thinking patterns or belief and challenging that so you can get to your outcome. Excellent. One of the words that I like is that you said it's about discovering. So it's really about discovering that self-belief. Exactly. Yep. It's all about self-discovery. It's, it's a real, it's a great journey to discover yourself and where you want to be and who you want to be. Great. More importantly, of who you want to yes, be exactly. to lead that happy, healthy life that you're Ex after. Exactly. Great. Now for more information about Emily's programs, you can go onto her website, which is sonrisa.com.au. Thanks, Emily. Do you ever get to 3pm and find that you're losing concentration and feeling a bit fatigued? Push away the coffee and the energy drinks and try these alternatives. One of the most common cause of fatigue is dehydration, so drink water. Be sure to drink water throughout the day regularly. Chances are if you're feeling thirsty, you're already dehydrated. Water is a great way to hydrate and it's great for flushing out those nasty toxins. It will make you go to the toilet and any excuse to get away from your desk is a good one. When stressed, you don't breathe in very deeply. This effectively starves your brain of oxygen. So get up, out of your chair, walk outside and get some fresh air. Fresh air alters your levels of serotonin. This improves your mood and your sense of happiness and well-being. In conclusion, to feel good, why not try one of these options or a variety of all three? your mum who's looking to get into shape or perhaps you're already in shape and you love fitness well today on the couch we have with us Edwina Griffin from Fit Mum. Welcome Edwina. Thanks Rory, thanks for having me. It's awesome you're here today because I'm a person who loves fitness and health and find it really interesting that you have a program for mums. Yeah, yeah. Tell me a little bit about it. Well the Fit Mum program I, I basically set up about 2000 and it's established for women who are in pregnancy, uh, postnatal recovery and also women who want to lose weight once they've had the barb and they're back to normal life. Okay, so is it a personal training one-on-one -on -one program? Can we jump online? What is it exactly? It's an, we actually have trainers and, an, and a program nationally with training and boot camps, but this is an online program that I'm launching now. Um, we've done a DVD and the online program is healthymum.com. It's personal training, but it's also mind programming and nutrition. So it's actually the full, full encompass of all experts on the program. 
Oh, so in the nutrition component, do you have recipes? Yeah, yeah, we do. We've got healthy recipes. We've got an expert who's a food blogger actually, and she's um, got a background in food science. And mm -hmm. so she's made some really, cause I'm not the best in the kitchen. So my, my big thing was, <laughs> has to be easy, has yes. to be fast. So it's like sort of four ingredient recipes, which are great. And then um, our expert dietitian is Dr. Joanna McMillan, who's obviously fantastic on all her knowledge with tips on what you can and can't eat through pregnancy and postnatally. That's fantastic. Now, something that I love about your program, your online program, by the sound of things, is mums can be extremely busy. So to jump online, grab a recipe, and just cook that up, it makes it so easy. Yeah, yeah, I think that's the whole thing. And even with the weights program and the yoga, I've made it sort of 30 minute weights program, not expecting people to do an hour and a half, because it's just not realistic. Okay, so and we can just pop in the DVD and do a yoga class at home, is that how it works? Yeah, yeah, you can pop the DVD or go online. So it's all split up into the different areas. And there's my program you can download and put on your iPhone and just do, there's motivational ones, sleep ones, relaxation Great. ones, and, um, and then fat loss ones if you're trying to lose weight after the birth. Wow, so there is a lot that you offer with Fit Mums with your online program. It sounds fantastic. So to check it out, go online to healthymum.com and you can take a look right now. Thanks, Edwina. Thanks. Eject out of your daily routine and get outside. Enjoy your local city coastline. Today, we're at the Eastern Suburbs Coastal Walk of Sydney. It is absolutely gorgeous. It starts at Coogee Beach, heads through Bronte, Clavelli, Tamarama, and ends up at the beautiful, iconic Bondi Beach. Now, you could either take the walk nice and slowly with a friend or family, or you could take it at a bit of a pace. If you're after a challenge, there's a couple of nice hills and stairs. So if you're like me, I'm gonna pop in the iPod and get going. I'll see you along the track. Here we are at Gordon's Bay, one of Sydney's most popular dive spots and also Sydney's only underwater nature trail. It's actually nestled right in between Coogee Beach and Clavelli Beach and it's just absolutely stunning. It's a tiny little beach that has some beautiful boats and a real European feel about it. So let's head off now to our next spot along the track. I mean, on such a gorgeous sunny day, who doesn't want to be out running? Let's go. you can also stop and try a variety of different activities. So, I'm gonna give it a go. <laughs> Here we are at the finish. One of Australia's most iconic beaches, Bondi Beach. Just stunning, isn't it? Absolutely gorgeous. I have had a fantastic jog been able to stop, have a little break along the way, exercise, and I hope you really enjoy it. Really recommend you trying out the Eastern Suburbs Coastal Walk sometime soon. On the couch today, we're here with Lara, the Executive Officer of the Australian Institute of Life Coaches. And Lara is going to give us an insight of life coaching. So welcome, Lara. Hello. Now, it's great to have you here today. Share with us what exactly is the Australian Institute of Life Coaches? The Australian Institute of Life Coaches is all about lifting the profile of life, co life coaches. It's also about getting accredited life coaches out there who have the right qualifications. And it's about supporting them to have a profitable business. So who uses life coaches? Absolutely everybody can use a life coach and it's one of our ideals is that every person in Australia should have a life coach they can call on if they need to. One of the myths out there in the past has been that life coaches are used by people who have hit rock bottom or they're a bit stuck or they don't know how to get going and one of the things we're seeing more and more is that it's for the people who are also pushing through new comfort zones. They're really taking things to the extraordinary level and they want to achieve something massive in their life. The same way that sporting people have a coach if they want to hit an elite level, same thing with a life coach. You have a coach if you want to push through to the new boundaries. It depends on you, your circumstances, and what you need. Some people get a life coach just for a special event that they're preparing for that they're either nervous about or they don't know how to handle it. 
So Laurie, speak about life coaches. If everyone should have a life coach, do you have one? I do, I do. I have a couple actually that I draw on depending on the circumstances and also depending on the sort of life coach I'm looking for. Obviously they all have different skill sets and they all have different personalities. At the moment I am about to set the land speed record for a woman on a motorcycle and so I'm drawing on a life coach because at the end of the day I know the bike can do it. I know physically I can do it, but mentally and emotionally, that's where I need some help. So I've just got a life coach on side who just talks me through it and makes sure that I'm not missing anything and I can achieve my goal. Wow, it sounds like you've got some exciting times coming up. Best wishes for that. Now, if we're looking for a life coach, where do we find one? If you want to get involved with a life coach, you can either look up any of our graduate life coaches from Australian Institute of Life Coaching at the Meet Your Life Coach directory, which is meetyourlifecoach.com.au. Or if you'd like to know more about becoming a life coach and the courses that we offer, head along to startlifecoaching.com.au. Next Monday on Feel Good TV, I face my fear of heights with trapeze. Nolan is taken through a tough workout with the Iron Edge team and a group of ladies are on a mission to get fit at the beach. To catch up on more Feel Good TV, go online to feelgoodshow.tv. Thank you to our sponsors, Summit Nutrition, Create PT Wealth, Iron Edge, and meetyour.com.au.